here now is Bloomberg food editor Kate Crater. Kate, thank you for joining us. Now you're in touch with so many small businesses. How is the recovery going for them? It's a very uneven recovery, and some of them are seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. There were some bright spots. For instance, I just got to do a fun story on National Ice Cream Day, which just happened on July 18th, turned out to be a boon for a lot of small businesses across the country. Smart businesses use it as a marketing tool, and last year during the pandemic, when there weren't restaurants necessarily to shout out on your social media, a lot of people who like to Instagram or put their food on TikTok found like National Ice Cream Day to be a fantastic way to get attention, and it also worked out really well for businesses. The economy has been reopening in different cities for a while now. I mean, has that brought many of these small businesses back to pre-pandemic levels of sales, or are there issues still that they're seeing when it comes to this reopening? I mean, there's still issues, of course, because there's a supply chain issue. There's, you know, there's finding staff, people to work. So it's mostly not back to pre-pandemic levels. Kate, how are they getting workers back in? How are they sort of combating that in, in their restaurants? They're trying their hardest. They're incentivizing. Um, you see bonuses, like there's $2,500 signing bonuses. But they also are having to adapt. I'm hearing a lot about shorter menus, also partly because of supply chain issues. but. If you you don't need as many people in the kitchen, if you have um, a 25 or 30 percent shorter menu than you did pre-pandemic. I mean, I think about here in New York City. Uh, I believe outdoor dining was extended uh, for another year. I mean, do you see a lot of the restaurants and the people that you know wanting to stick with some of um, these innovations that they've had? I really love the QR code menu. Yeah. I think that's great. Um, I'm curious what you've heard. Yeah, no, I think a lot of these innovations have forced you know forced restaurateurs and chefs to pivot, and they did it in a phenomenal way last year. And a lot of those innovations, like you mentioned, the QR code menu, which means you save a lot of money printing paper, um, but also outdoor dining has been a good one, meal kits, and that kind of food to go has pushed chefs to do these great things and reach a broader audience. A lot of them can mail order their food now through um, companies like Gold Belly, so their reach is broader. It's, um, I think there's a lot of innovation, good innovation that's come out of it. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.